Hello, today we're going to talk about the alkyne functional group. The alkyne functional group is a functional group featuring the carbon-carbon triple bond. Let's show the carbon labels here so we can see a carbon triple bonded to another carbon atom. In this video, we're going to explore the bonding in the alkyne functional group and its geometry and some examples of alkynes uh, that are present in drug-like compounds. The alkyne, so here's again the carbon-carbon triple bond, is uh, as a multiple bond has sigma bonds and pi bonds. The one of the three bonds in the alkyne is a sigma bond, uh, and we're representing the sigma bond as this gray orbital overlap between the two carbon atoms. The sigma bond is formed from the overlap of sp hybridized orbitals on, on each of the carbon atoms. And then there are also pi bonds formed by the overlap of p orbitals on the carbon atoms as well. And there's one pi bond in one plane and a perpendicular pi bond in another plane. Because of the bonding structure in uh, alkynes. Let's see, I don't want this to be red. Let's make it black. Okay, sorry. Uh, because of the bonding structure of alkynes, uh, to have the the p orbitals necessary for two pi bonds, the uh, carbon atoms in alkynes are sp3 hybridized. Oh, I don't want that. Sorry, not sp3 hybridized, just sp hybridized. Uh, which means that the geometry around the alkyne is, around the alkyne carbons is 180 degrees. For this reason, we draw the chain of carbon atoms in an alkyne using, to represent the linear geometry. You may have gotten used to drawing chains of carbon atoms in organic molecules in a zigzag fashion. And while this is okay for single and double bonds, For triple bonds, this sort of representation shows an incorrect geometry and should be avoided. The linear geometry requirement uh, of an alkyne means that cycloalkynes of small ring sizes, like even six carbons, would have too much angle strain in to exist as a stable molecule. The smallest uh, commonly occurring cycloalkyne is cyclooctyne. Which is flexible enough to uh, have the alkyne functional group in it. Like the octane is flexible enough.
the alkyne is not nearly as commonly occurring a functional group in naturally occurring compounds as alkenes and alkanes, uh, but there are some drugs and drug-like compounds that contain alkynes in their structure. So uh, on this page, I have the structures of efavirins, which is an antiviral compound. Uh, histrionic toxin is a naturally occurring toxin produced by uh, some poisonous tree frogs. Um, and you'll notice the alkyne, alkene functional groups together in histrionic toxin. Many of the naturally occurring alkyne compounds are, are conjugated with, with this alkene. Turbofine is a uh, antifungal compound that uh, is commonly marketed in products containing lamisil. Um, and then noritinodrel or estrinoestradiol is a uh, is a synthetic estrogen analog that is used in various birth control medicines. The presence of the alkyne functional group in drug-like compounds uh, is important because the alkyne produces some rigidity to the molecule, which helps that molecule find its enzyme receptor targets. What's also true is because the alkyne is not as common of a functional group in naturally occurring compounds, Enzymes aren't as equipped to break down alkyne functional groups, which means alkyne-containing drugs uh, have a longer half-life in biological systems. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to name alkyne-containing molecules, and then we're going to move on to the reactions of alkynes.